So the thing I love about Trends is that it's a curated series of lectures, and every one of them has been wonderful thus far. Trends is really an opportunity to bring a you know, somewhat extensive field into a much more personal setting. And for me, it's higher yield. Of the time I am there, I find I just learn a lot more per hour. What I love about the networking part of it is is something that I've really come to fairly recently. I've never really liked the term networking. It seemed, you know, I'm just not good at schmoozing. But what it has kind of evolved to for me is a way to meet people that have similar interests. And it's really helped me cultivate a group of people that I can lean on when I have questions about sleep medicine. I think patients appreciate that when they know that their physician or their sleep practitioner is up to date. And it also conveys the sense that I'm plugged in. Trends helps plug me in. And I feel as though if I convey that to the patient, they have more confidence in me. For me, a better networking opportunity is done on a smaller scale where you interact with the faculty, you interact with the other participants. And instead of thousands of people, there may be just a few hundred or less. For me, that's, a, again, a higher yield networking experience, just like I find trends can be a higher yield learning experience. The information that I've learned from trends has directly impacted my patients. It's, it's kind of funny because not only does it re-energize me when I go back to my practice, but I've learned all of these really new and interesting things, some of which I've never even considered before. I love that the focus of this conference is trends. It's, it's new, it's the latest and greatest. So I would go to trends again because there are always literally new trends in sleep medicine, always. And there are always new people to meet and network with.